Illinois Senator Roland Burr spent Friday touring the VA hospital in North Chicago and Great Lakes Naval Base. And as promised, Burris is avoiding the media. He eluded the cameras, but he can't escape the growing calls for his resignation. It's never easy to step aside and resign from anything in life, especially something as important as United States Senate. But under the current circumstances, where our state needs a strong voice in Washington on so many different issues, I don't think it's in the public interest or the common good to have a U.S. Senator who has to spend an undue amount of time uh, going over and over uh, matters with respect to how he obtained the office. So, New Illinois Governor Pat Quinn said he had the utmost respect for Burris and his family, but the governor believes the cloud over Burris's head is just too dark right now for him to represent the people of Illinois. I would ask my good friend, Senator Roland Burris, to put the interests of the people of the land of Lincoln, first and foremost, ahead of his own, and step aside and resign from his office. Patience is wearing thin at the White House as well, where President Barack Obama originally pushed Senate leaders to seat Burris during his messy appointment. It might be uh, important for uh, Senator Burris to take some time this weekend uh, to either correct what has been said uh, and and certainly think of uh, what lays in his future. Several prominent newspapers are asking Roland Burris to resign as well as prominent black religious leaders in Chicago. Burris is maintaining that he did nothing wrong while at the same time admitting to attempting to raise money for former Governor Rob Blagojevich. But the Illinois Senator says he was not able to raise a single dollar. Mark Carlson, The Associated Press, North Chicago.